Well, 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 look what we have here. Another Hardcore Minecraft, all the mods, eight. I am Joshy, and I am, uh, oh. yeah, so I, first and foremost, that I, I did change this dude, because the guy was originally, he was standing way over here, and I couldn't move him. So we now have Emerald Muncher, um, and Sugarcane that is growing extremely too high. Uh, you'll notice I did a little bit of redecorating. I uh, took away these chests that were right here. Um... Did a little bit of organization, uh, made some more iron furnaces, and put them into the walls right here in the corners so that they wouldn't be seen at from the outside. But I did my organization. So now we have signs here showing miscellaneous uh, books and paper with a compass. We have some equipment like uh, shield, armor, things of that nature. We have string and a couple other things. Obviously, not some things that are not string. Um, wooden crafted, which is basically like your doors, planks, sticks, fences, gates. Your planks and logs, which will be pretty filled pretty quickly. Uh, your cobblestone, your resource, your miscellaneous resource blocks, your seeds. Um, we have some food and crops. And then up here we just have some other miscellaneous things. Uh, ingots and emeralds. Uh, nothing up here just yet. We have some ores, which if you'll notice, I did finally figure out how to turn on the sort button. It was within the settings, the config, which I think these should be on by default, not turned off. Um, saplings are here. Then you have your flowers right here and gems and shards right here. So did a little bit of redecorating down here and upstairs pretty much the same. I just uh, took these two chests out and I put them on each side over here. Did I never put... <laughs> did I never... Hold on. <laughs> What? <laughs> How did I never notice that? Um, you have a large chest over here, which will be for like, uh, I don't know yet. Um, you have your large chest over here that will be for uh, lapis, lapis lazuli. So let's go grab those glass panes real quick. Um, I don't actually remember what I did with it. <laughs> I have everything. Right there. Okay. Cool. And let's go, um... Actually finish this little section right here, which I, I, I never noticed that. Huh. Interesting. Make sure everywhere else has fences, or gates, or a glass. Jeez. I'm all over the place. Um, I did figure out what this right here does. Basically, when you're hungry and you eat it, um, it will go into a cooldown mode, and you will gain a pretty decent chunk. You can see right there at the bottom. You gain a pretty decent chunk of food, and a little orange bar that goes around the food. Um... It's crazy. Yeah, so I was watching a guy by the name of uh, Bottle Top Hornet play this, uh, play all the mods eight, and he he is significantly further than I am by the time that he gets by this particular episode. But he is also doing one hour stints rather than thirty minute stints, um, and he is editing his videos too. So you know, just in case that was a question. <laughs> Um, but yeah, no, he, he, I was watching him and he kind of explains a lot more about a lot of the different things. Oh, and also I did create an iron backpack, which I'll show you. Um, you can see right here, it has a little bit more storage space. So once we get more gold, we can create a gold backpack and then, um, yeah, but he, um, he did quite a bit and I'm actually really impressed because I actually like his gameplay. I'll leave his, uh. I'll leave his channel down in the description below because I, I definitely think he uh, he deserves a lot of support and everything. I mean, I'm, I'm going to keep showing him. I'm going to keep watching his videos because it, it's good learning. But we are going to be able to go throw some iron ingots in there, some seeds in here. Um, we can do the sort factor now, which is cool. Oh, wait, we have our emerald that we can throw in there. We have white wool, which I believe is in my resource block. Um, and then we have... Where did I Where did I put the glass panes? <laughs> where did I put the glass panes? Hold on. Uh the glass panes disappeared. I did not have that many. Did I put them in, I put them in the wrong one, didn't I? I did. Looky there, see? I am I, I get a little bit of time I get a little bit to learn, but I'm I'm gonna be kind of just using this for a temporary type of storage solution 
and really going through and getting started on the actual basic um, uh, sophisticated storage and the refined storage, which refined storage is going to be really, uh, I think it's going to be more beneficial. Um, it's more aimed at uh, drawers, but we'll see what we do here. Um, we have sophisticated storage. Uh, sophisticated chest allows you to upgrade your chest with metals to increase storage. You can also add upgraded filters to increase the functionality of the chest. No more vanilla double chest rooms. Yeah, no more vanilla double chest rooms. <laughs> uh. so we're going to go ahead and um, take a look at this. We do have the upgrade base right here. So we get some more of those. Um, vanilla chest, so an oak chest just... We need redstone, so obviously uh, we will work towards that. But basically, just a vanilla chest, like, uh, but has the slot for a storage upgrade. Then, of course, you have your um, iron chest, your gold chest, diamond chest, and then your netherite chest, which all comes beneficially. Um, Botania is probably the one I'm going to focus on a little bit as we move forward, uh, as we move on, I should say. Um, because this is kind of like magic stuff. So you can see now that we have some flowers, we can start converting the basic flora into functioning and generating flora using the petal apothecary. Uh, to start harnessing the energy from mystical flower petals, we will need to fill the apothecary with <laughs> the apothecary with water. This can be done by right clicking with a water bucket or by throwing the water bucket at, on the apothecary. To create items, just throw the appropriate items for the uh, uh, recipe into the apothecary, right-clicking with an empty hand or remove items from it as well. Only a recipe that has been completed. You, Once a recipe com has been completed, you will have about 20 seconds where right-clicking with an empty hand will refill the last recipe, making it easier to create multiple of the same items. So we're going to go ahead and create one of these. We have everything we need, really. Um, so if I come in here, I can grab the... Uh, mystical blue flower. I can then throw that right here and then get blue petals. And then what that will do is that will basically tell me, hey, look, I have blue petals. Um, you can see I have all this stuff up here. Now all we need is cobblestone. So we'll come back over here to our cobblestone, grab this, and then we will do, I think it's like this. Indeed it is. So yeah, look there. We now have our petal apothecary. So what we'll do from here is we will run outside and we're gonna find a good place to put that, but we're also going to uh, clear out some of the sugar cane. So. Oh yeah, sounds so good. Such a good feeling. We have decimated our sugar cane farm. And of course we have all this wheat that has been grown Of course, we will collect all of the farming equipment. Make sure I don't run to the point where it breaks everything. It's not fully done yet. Huh. Still don't know what to how to get you guys, but whatever. It's fine. It's fine. Okay. So let me make sure I grabbed all of this stuff. Um, I am going to take a couple of these carrots that I just got. One, two, three. Uh, I'm going to take a couple of these carrots and plant a couple more. And then that gives me four, which means now I can run back over here. Do, do, do. And go inside here and then we. Okay, so that's good. Okie dokie, okie dokie. Looky there, see, we have ourselves a good little, let's see, you, 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 and you. Everything else goes in seeds. We. Cool, looky there. Boom. Okay, so now we will find a place to do the uh, botany, botania, whatever you want to call it. Um, oh, didn't collect all the sugar cane. 
Let's see here. Um, I'm thinking maybe down here. I actually kind of want to fill this in because I am going to keep running over it. Um, we'll see. Oh, I have doors eight. Huh. Maybe I'll do it. Maybe I'll do it right here. Like up here. Yeah, I've been watching um the uh the individual do his all the mods and it's kinda it's 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 interesting to see for sure. I mean he definitely uh definitely has a lot of uh a lot of experience with all the mods, so it's it's good to have that kind of <laughs> in reality it's really good to have that kind of uh mindset when you're when you're watching somebody else play it because like I said, I mean like I've said multiple times, I really have no idea what I'm doing when it comes to most of these mods. Um I'm not good at create, I'm not good at pretty much any of the mods that are in this mod pack um and that's kind of wanted this wanted to do this on a challenging mode like uh like hardcore because it allows me the opportunity to be able to understand a little bit more about what uh what capabilities and what how where i'm comfortable so let's see here and where did i put the bucket i think the buckets are in not in there. Maybe they're in miscellaneous. They are in miscellaneous. That's right. Water bucket. Cool. Okay. All right. So let's go clear out some areas. Let's grab some dirt, actually. And then we will clear out some area over here. I'm gonna. My shovel's easily gonna. Definitely gonna break. Yeah. Watching this dude play it was play this is crazy because I mean he just goes all out and it's just. Oh, I feel so behind. <laughs> Like, very, very behind. It's kind of sad. Okay, so let's now do this. But he's also not playing on hardcore, and I don't think he's really fearful. I mean, he's definitely not fearful in going into uh, caves and systems like that, because, you know... But it is what it is. I will start being a little bit more proactive with my timing while I'm recording. We just have to be patient, you know what I mean? Okay. Cool. All right. We can put that up. And then I'm actually going to put it right, I think. Right there will be good. And then, of course, we don't really, I don't really have anything I'm going to do just yet with it. Um, using the Petal Apothecary, can, we can create several different types of flowers that can help us on our journey. And these are broken down into two different categories, functional and generating. Functional are flowers that help you with everyday tasks. For example, the hopper hawk will function like a hopper and pick up items within a certain range around it. Some of the functional flowers will require mana to operate. Generating are flowers that produce mana using different methods, depending on the flower. The most common flower used to generate mana is the endoflame, which generates mana by consuming nearby uh, combustible like coal. In this quest line of flowers with the quest shape of a square are generating, where whereas the flowers with the shape of a circle are functional. Interesting. So if I do... Oh my goodness. <laughs> so these are all generating and these are all functional. That's what it said, right? Um, square are generating. So these are all generating and these are all functional. Got it. Um, this way, our, the pure daisy is one of the first flowers you will create. The flower will convert up to nearly eight wooden logs or stone into living wood or living rock. Respectively, this only converts in a one block radius around the flower. Cool. So there's a lot of things, obviously, that will work towards. Um, I'm not going to do the entirety of this. Oh, it's nighttime. I'm not going to do the entirety of this particular quest line. Because or just yet, because um, I do want to try to do a couple other things while we are working it. So, all right, let's see here. The next little step that I want to kind of aim towards is, I think he was he was doing this, and I'm actually curious about this because uh, he had a he has a really cool um, jump and all that stuff so 
Ars Nueve is a magic mod that allows you to create custom spells with the different glyphs made within the made within the mod. Okay, so one notebook. So why did it spit it out halfway across the room? I don't know. Uh, mystical light gray petal. Let's throw these into the chests. Seeds will go in here. Uh, flowers will go in there. Resource blocks. We okay. And then of course let's put the um, the bucket in there. Let's see here. Interesting. Okay. Cool. Okay, so to get started, you'll need to craft yourself a novice spell book. This is where you create and store your spells. Hitting C key will open the creative spell page on the left. There are several tabs, but the main three are spell creation, color picker, and familiars. The spell book will only allow you to create and use tier one glyphs to create better spells. You'll need to upgrade your spell book. So let's take a look at what we need. Oh my, okay, so. Cool. So we just need um, all the iron tools in a what a regular book. Yeah, it's a regular book. Cool. So the equipment here. Um, actually, we'll just grab our ingots. I don't actually have a lot of ingots. Oh boy. Okay. So we'll come back to that. One. <laughs> um, goodness gracious. There's a lot to it. So um, really, I don't really have a lot going on. I mean. Let's see. So basic storage, obviously I want to be able to adjust all this storage. Refined storage will be useful in the future as well. Applied energetics, I don't I'm not too familiar with it, but I feel like somebody will help me with that eventually. Um farming, I want to create a good kitchen and great have a decent farm, have done the uh animal side here. Um now we just need to actually do the Oh, I didn't realize all I had to do was click the little ch um, check mark right there because we did get a lot of this stuff done already. Um, hemp seeds. So, okay. You'll find hemp seeds pretty fast. If you plant these, you can use the fiber to make string. I'm curious now. Let me grab my... I'm going to grab both of these because I've never actually been able to effectively... Or do I just break it? Is that what I, is that all you do is just break it? See, I've never properly used. <laughs> okay. Okay. So, I don't know how, oh wait, hold on, what? Oh, okay, so it's like this. That would give me string. Wow, crazy. So I'll just go ahead and show you what the eternal state does. So I eat it and then it just has a cooldown and it fills up a decent amount of my food. So I really don't ever really need any food, but we will go, we'll work around that. Um, we need four string, which I think I actually have, or maybe I only have three. I have four. Uh, now we need three times sugar. Wow, I don't know if I'll be able to make three sugar. Crazy. Um, and then that pretty much opens us up to the cake, which I think we... I think the only thing I don't have is an egg, which I can easily get. Um, let me throw these seeds in here real quick. Wait, actually, no, I can't because I don't have chickens over there. Do I have an egg in here? Yes. Yes, I do. So yeah, let's go over here. We'll grab our miscellaneous. We'll grab our milk from right here. I can get rid of the coil oil. I don't really need it right now. It really isn't doing doing me any good. And string, I can throw these two in there. Go back to my, <laughs> uh, my bucket. And then grab, what was it, three wheat? Not four. Uh, and then two sugar, okay. And two sugar, okay. So let's go milk or kales, get rid of this crude oil. Um, I think I, should, I probably shouldn't put my oil close to my animals, right? 
and just run over here real quick. <laughs> what happens if I... Cool. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Running's hard, guys. Cool. So now we have all we need for right there. We can run back inside and go to our crafting table and then create the cake. Boom. And now, now we have finished this one, which gives us a random reward, which is a hopper body. I like it. I like it. It's actually one thing that I was hoping to get eventually. Um, and we got toast. Just notice we got toast. Um, we're going to put this in there. Okay. Where? I'm going to throw this in here with that for the time being as well as this um, and we're going to see what more we can do uh, but let's take a look here at the quest so we've done both sides now we just need to do the fishing and the uh, botany pots one which will come and then of course we'll create our kitchen and everything uh, later on down the road which shouldn't be a problem shouldn't be a problem so let's take a look at the um, chapter one again uh, so we're pretty much stagnant until we either find more inferium essence um a waystone or the uh 16 redstone and seven more gold because we can't do anything over here um looking to get into you know i've already seen that what did it give us honey bottle cool sweet so let's go ahead and think about what we're gonna do in the next couple of videos um Productively, I probably should do a little bit more exploration um, and work towards gathering some, like getting some iron. So I guess in, in this video, we'll go ahead and actually, you know what I need here is actually, no, I have enough. We're good. Um, let's go ahead and head down into the little mines down here and we will work towards collecting more uh, iron and hopes. Um, <laughs> probably we'll try to avoid the... Um, Probably would try to avoid the deep slate zone, but you never know with how unfortunate this place is. So let's go. Let's try to go into one of these little cavern systems. Do do do. We'll have to go down a little bit to make it or to be comfortable getting down there. But as long as we can avoid the deep slate, we should be fine. We do have our amethyst right there. Uh, there is a named. Is that a named entity? That is a named entity. What are they doing? Oh, this is actually a little cluster. Boom! Look at there. Little clusters are growing in front of my doors. Anyway, um, goodness gracious, I don't know what she's doing out there. My dog is acting a fool right now. <laughs> Um, let us start mining kind of around here somewhere. I think right here should be fine. We can take some limestone with us. It's a deep slate. Let's try to avoid the deep slate. Come on. Uh, let's go up a little bit. What is that? Deep slate uranium or ore. I will avoid that. I do see some iron right there, though. Lucky here. That's not iron. That's nickel. That's iron. <laughs> Look. The colors are so similar, especially when they're deep slate. Okay, leave me alone. Okay, so we have a couple things of iron here. We got six. Um, it's going to be real nice whenever I can find diamond to uh, actually start collecting more and more of this material, which honestly, I think there's an enemy down here. Let's go ahead and pull my sword out. Platinum. Platinum's diamond level, so I'm actually curious. Um, 
So, a question. Oh. The enemy's up there. Cool. <laughs> I'm good. <laughs> um, the guy that I've been watching on YouTube is... He added a mod, and I'm curious about this. He added a mod to his uh to his playthrough called Easy Villager. That should give me enough. It does. Okay, cool. Um, right? I thought it did. Oh, I need Inferium seeds. How do I make Inferium seeds? I think I asked this question before, and I yeah, that's right. Okay, I did ask that question before. Um easy villagers and i'm actually very very interested in that particular mod because what it does is it allows you to pick up villagers and then move them obviously i feel like that would be way too uh way too easy so i'm um, but it also has these really cool uh I'm trying to think of what the how to explain it it's like um if you guys have ever played a uh, stone block Block of raw lead. Ooh, I like lead. Um, stone block or sky block, where you have like a cobblestone generator. It's something similar to that, where you can do a variety of different things, um, including iron generation, which would be very useful in a situation. It's very slow, but it's a very. Uh, I think it'd be very beneficial. I'm not. Obviously, I'm not going to put it on because I feel like that would be too cheesy for a hardcore playthrough. Um, I'm going to continue kind of working around it. He also made it very clear that Osmium is better than Diamond. Which, I guess the numbers don't lie. So I guess when I find more Diamond, I'm not going to actually turn any Diamond into um, tools. I'm going to actually keep that for uh, questline purposes. Because I feel like that would be a little bit better off. Um, just... Logic, logically speaking, it, it'd probably be a little bit easier, like better for me to uh, make them or set them up with, as a as a resource of building, uh, crafting resource, um, upgrading things of that nature, and then use Osmium for my res uh, my gear. Deep slate. Okay, so we're just gonna keep getting this nickel because um, I just. There's just so much. Like I need, I haven't found any redstone yet, not in this world at least, and I and I'm hoping to find some soon. I don't know why I keep forgetting about doing that. By the way, vein miner is on, guys. Cool. Um, I guess let's go ahead and grab the uranium. Give me some more. Okay, so that gave me power stuff. Let's go ahead and throw you guys in there. Um, cool. All right. Is there any more resources? Any more resources that I haven't collected? Yes. Obviously, nothing important. Okay beneficial or useful really um let's go up a little bit to see what's up here there's a green mushroom right there let's put this away and grab out my shield those guys i don't think will attack me that guy will why are you just staring at me that's really creepy <laughs> They just spawn right there. Like, dude, just spawn and drop? Like, what? That's a thing that can happen? Huh. Um, alright. Okay. <laughs> Go in a little bit this way. We're gonna we're gonna do the cheese method here real quick, because I wanna. I want to get some of this stuff. Cool. 
Go ahead and throw the torches back right there. It, I don't know what meant to do. Okay. All right, so let's keep going. All right. Uranium, whatever that is. This. Prosperity shards. White shimmering mushroom. Wait, what? <laughs> okay. Okay, so there is a zombie right there, which is fine. Um, maybe he'll come over here and then I can just kill him and take his life. Hey, little buddy. How much health do you have? Oh, hey. Was not expecting that, but all right. <laughs> Did get hunger, which is fine. <laughs> that was exciting. <laughs> was not. Wasn't really expecting him to drop in like that. He just he just thought he wanted to drop in and, and come hang out. So I don't really see anything out there. I really wish they had the zoom function. Oh, man. It's a little frustrating. You know, I have this function. You know, change that up a little bit so I can actually use my mouse and everything. Okay, so now we're going to go back down because I don't really see any other reason for me to be in there right now. Um, and I really don't remember how I got down here. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> this way? This way. Aha. Cool. Okay. Um, I just gotta, gotta get my mind right. <laughs> oh, yeah. You guys know what? I have my home command and I have not been using it. And I'm like tempted, I'm, I'm half tempted to use it and half tempted to not use it, but, I, but it's a part of the game. It's not a cheat or anything. It's a part of the actual game. So I figured. Why not just let me use it? You know what I mean? Yeah, it should be fine. Right? But yeah, so that's going to pretty much do it for this video, lads. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Um, I'm going to end it here with some uh, smelting of iron. But with that being that, thank you guys so much again. I'll see you guys in the next video. Later.